Hello, my name is Brian and welcome to the Win911 How-To Instructional Video Series. Today, we will walk you through the installation of a Win911 license. To activate your license, first you'll need your serial number. This will be found on the packaging slip down in the middle, or it is available from the original email sent by the licensing team. To activate the license, you'll need all the information about your end user, including their name, email, address, phone, and SCADA. From here, you can go ahead and create your license request. Inside of Win911, there's some key information which will be helpful later on down the road. This information is available inside the System and Information tab. And in here, you can see more information about the release revision you're on, your license if you're about to expire or if you're active, your serial number, this will be available once you actually complete the license, and your support code if you need technical support. Let's go ahead and initiate that license request using CodeMeter. We search CodeMeter. We have CodeMeter Control Center. As you can see, there's two buckets here. One is for the, the demo license, and one is for the empty container. We take this empty container and we do activate license. Next through these pop-ups, and eventually get to the create new license request. Here you can select where to place that licensing file. Let's just go ahead and place mine on the desktop. And then you hit commit. We'll take this licensing file request and then submit it online. Click finish. Next we open up win911.com. And if we go to the support license request you have a form that you need to fill out for your license request. In here, you'll need ev everything about your end user, including your serial number, the name, address we talked about earlier. And then down at the bottom, we'll take that file we just created, we'll drop that in here for the request. You'll hit submit, and this will go to our licensing team. The licensing team will send back the actual license file, including more information about your support number and serial Let's open CodeMeter and complete the activation. On the right side here, we have our code meter with that empty container. And on the left side, we have the actual license file, which was provided by Win911 licensing team. We take this license file, we can drag and drop it right over onto that empty container. Status license activated. This completes our license request from Win911. Now you should have an active license for your system. If we open up Win911 again, the System Information tab, as you can see here, I'm licensed for the advanced license of Win911. That completes the licensing of Win911. Thank you for watching.